What's up guys? Hello y'all and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I really don't know how to introduce this video so I'll just dive right into the discussion Siobhan Beckford style. Alrighty, so in this video I will be talking to you guys about how I started shooting music videos full time and not just on the side as a hobby to practice or to pass time or to gain some experience. I actually started shooting music videos on a more serious and professional note, reaching out to top artists, entertainers and capturing some stellar professional content. Well, I'm not being sarcastic with the professional. There are actually professional content that I've captured and produced over the past four years because I started this journey back in 2019. Yes, I remember the first music video I've ever captured. <laughs> it's funny. Anyways, so yes, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about my journey and how I started shooting music videos professionally and some tips you should adhere to or follow or take into consideration if you want to start a similar journey of shooting music videos. Let's go. So tip number one, when I just started, I was always thinking about, do I have the right gear? I don't have the right tools to execute properly. And this video is going to look like trash. And this was always going through my head until I got my first full frame camera, which is a Lumix S5. I was always thinking about the gear I have, if I'm going to execute properly, how the video is going to look, when in reality, the gear you use play only a fraction of the role in producing the entire music video. I started out shooting music videos just by using my smartphone, yes. I think the first two music videos that actually got released when I started shooting music videos, they were captured using my smartphone. But then it was my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and I had the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, that little mobile gimbal, and I used that combo and captured some amazing content, 4K content back then went on to my laptop, did some editing work, some magic, the artist loved it. I wasn't really pleased because I knew I could have done better and be more creative. I wasn't using Premiere Pro back then. I was using Wondershare Filmora, so I didn't get to dive into a bunch of effects and styles, transition, color grading, but it was a start. So don't depend on the tools that you have available and limit yourself in a box and don't try to explore and boost your creativity. Use what you have at hand and then use this to boost the final product of whatever it is that you're creating. Don't depend on your gear too much. The second tip I want to provide is to practice. Don't sit and wait on the opportunity to come and get you. No, it doesn't work like that, especially in the music industry. There are tons of producers out there producing music videos. There are tons of cinematographers, filmmakers who capture music videos just like you. They want to get big just like you, maybe bigger than you, maybe smaller than you. So you can't sit and wait for the opportunity to come to you. You have to get out there and go grab that opportunity. So always be practicing, reaching out to upcoming artists, capture content no matter what it is. Some one minute shots for social media, some TikTok videos, some little snippets for YouTube until you can land that first big project or that second big project or that big project. But always be on your toes, practicing, capturing content, reaching out to artists, trying to make more connections so you can be called for that big project when the time comes around. No one will see you if you're not out there putting in the work. No one is going to come to your house and knock on your door if you're not in the streets, promoting your talent and your skill set. So always put in the work. Never ease up, always be on your grind, go out there in the street, 
get some artists to work with and create content you can never go wrong with doing that and it's not all about the money when you're just starting out or overall just try to build your network meet new people and sharpen your skill that's what you should be focusing on when you're just starting out in shooting music videos and moving on into the next tip we're gonna talk about partnering with other creators some projects you won't be able to execute alone you will definitely need a team you will need some expert hands on deck so you won't mess up whatever it is that your client in this case the artist will need for their final project you can do so much and no more as a solo run and gun video producer there will be a time where you need to collaborate with other creators to execute exceptionally well on that project it's always good to have some extra hands on deck whenever you're shooting a music video it doesn't matter if it's a music video that you can produce by yourself you can shoot and edit by yourself if you have an extra hand on deck it will make the work lighter whether it is picking up the equipment after you're finished shooting, keeping checks on the equipment while you're on the shoot, handing you a lens, assisting you while you're moving around with the gimbal, helping you look at the drone in the line of sight so it doesn't crash, helping to direct the artist, helping to managing the set, the props. You will always need extra hands on deck no matter the magnitude of the shoot so it's good to have a network of persons you can collaborate with whether it is to shoot or to edit whenever you're producing music videos collaborate and those persons can also bring new ideas to the table to make the project even more always try to incorporate others into a project if you can and if they're willing to so you guys can come together you know maybe share some ideas in ways to make the project better and you know if the project is better the artist will be pleased they will also recommend you to other artists other persons will see the work reach out to them ask who captured this and that is more work a wider network for you so I always try to collaborate and work with other creatives it can work in your favor and moving right along this is the final tip I will be giving you guys about how I you know took this music video shooting thing full-time and professional and this one is creating a style within your work you know make your videos look unique to you have this special look so persons can say yeah that video was captured by Siobhan Beckford from Bechtronics that's a Bechtronics video whether it's your color space some effects that you use your sound effects your transitions your effects pack make your videos have a special signature look so people can know this video was produced by you so they can be coming for you to add that extra sauce to their project and so you can also have something to stand out from the average music video capturers and producers in and around your area so you can be a tier above on the ladder so if persons are coming to get a producer for their music video you will be of preference and maybe land a project instead of someone else getting the gig so try to make your stuff unique try to add your own personal touch of creativity your own little sauce you know add your little sauce to your music videos <laughs> give it your touch your look you know for me it's those film burns and my color i like that warm jamaican tropical vibe and my transition mm, my slow motions i like to put those into my videos to make them a cut above the rest from all the other jamaican producers if you know what i mean i take pride in my colors take pride in my vfx my transitions and also the cinematic look of my videos if you pay keen attention to my videos there are always slow motion scenes 60 frames per second is my favorite frame rate 
I love slowing down 60 frames per second. It's not too fast and it's not too slow like 120, 60 frames per second. Yes, that's my signature and also colors. I love a good looking video. So sexy. And before I go, here's a bonus tip. Don't be afraid to invest into your craft. And when I say invest, I don't necessarily mean investing in gears, getting new camera equipment, new light, new lenses, that latest drone from DJI, that new gimbal, that new microphone. Invest in digital assets as well. Get some nice LUT packs to make your videos look more cinematic and premium. Get some stock, some VFX. Invest in some stock footages. If you can capture an aerial view of that BMW M4, go on some stock website, subscribe, get a stock video of a BMW M4 driving down into the sunset utilize stock elements to make your videos pop you're not going to be able to do everything yourself and in-house so instead of wasting time trying to do everything yourself and in-house just go ahead and purchase something someone already took a hundred hours creating and make your work easier invest in yourself by getting stocks and also physical assets. And do some courses. If you don't know how to color grade like a pro, go do some online courses on how to become a better colorist, how to do better sound design, how to tell a better story in your videos. Invest in yourself. So yes, um, we're at the end of this video. I do hope you guys found some value and interest in the points I just gave across on how I became a full-time music video producer, both shooting and editing my music videos for my clients. If you guys found any interest or value in this video, feel free to hit that like button and leave a comment down below on your thoughts. If you have any points you want to add, if you have any issues with what I said or anything at all, let me know in the comments so I can read through and we can have a little discussion. If you guys want to see more videos like these because I want to record and create more content like these and put them on my channel about the journey and my process feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when i create another video like this i'm siobhan beckford from Bektronics, signing out Watcha. oh yeah and go follow me on instagram and tiktok i'm trying this whole short form content thing out so Go follow me on TikTok, I'll leave it right here. And also go follow me on Instagram. Yeah, Twitter, I'm not so active on Twitter, but go follow me there. Bye.